What's going on guys? You're going with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. In the last episode we took on Sabrina and made our way to Cinnabar Islands. Today we'll be taking Oh, we also went into Pokemon Mansion. Today we'll be taking on Blaine. So that should be exciting. And uh I've been thinking of ways to make this challenge a little more challenging. And I saw some comments and messages on Skype and YouTube messages, people saying that I should start playing on set. And now, the, you, those of you who don't know, the battle style, I didn't even know like about the battle style until like a year or so ago, I learned about it. If you have the battle style on shift, it allows you to s switch Pokemon before your opponent switches their, puts their next one out. But if you put it on set, then you can't, and you have to waste a turn, and therefore possibly take a hit. And I'm going to be playing on that way, just to make it a little more challenging, and a little more risky, because... I don't want to lose this egg lock. I want to point it out right now. I very much want to win it because that would be amazing. But at this rate, it's almost like there's not even that much of a challenge. So I'm going to... I don't know. I just want to make it a little more exciting and a little more difficult. And wow. Okay. We we might be a little underleveled. Um, level 36. Oh, okay. I probably should have considered this considering Sabrina and Koga's highest Pokemon were both 42 and 43 respectively. And I want to think, I'm pretty sure Blaine's Arcanine, now that I'm thinking about it, is like 47. So... Yeah, maybe I didn't think this one through too much. But, you know, I... I, I don't know. I have a good feeling about this. We can do this. It, it's not going to be a problem at all. Moon is actually out... I was not expecting Moon to outspeed Ninetales. I'm not going to lie there. Okay, now Ninetales can outspeed with a quick attack, but still, Moon? Oh! I'm gonna blame the Intimidate on that as to why it lived. I think overall, I don't think Blaine is actually that hard. I don't know why Blaine doesn't have a Magmar. Seriously, if someone can answer that question for me, why Blaine doesn't have a Magmar, I would love to know, because it, it just it doesn't make sense. He should have a Magmar. He should have, like, six Magmars. His party should just be six Magmars, and he should be in a volcano. That is what Blaine should be, not a bunch of scientists playing guess this question, or I don't know. I was gonna go with some like game show, but then my mind just went completely blank, and I couldn't think of anything, so yeah. Uh, we're pretty much just gonna put all the training on both Moon and Beto in this, because they're gonna be our two Pokemon to take on Blaine. I'm pretty sure Moon will probably do most of the damage, because... Uh, Beto does, I don't, well, I was gonna say Beto doesn't resist fire because if it's ice typing, but I don't know if Moon, und Moon does either. I don't remember if ground resists fire or not, so, I don't know. I, don't, I know what's super effective against types, I still haven't really learned my resistances yet, so, sad hardy is sad. <laughs> um, someday I will learn them, don't worry, I will... It only took me like 18 years to learn what's strong against Pokemon, so I'm not that surprised that I still don't know what's resistant to Pokemon. So, what level is Beto? Because I want to make sure these two stay around the same level. We do also have Jimmy, who has Flash Fire, I believe. So, we could theoretically send him in against Fire Attacks. And the Kestro, with his Rock-type moves, are super effective. So, wow, yeah, I just kind of realized we... Uh, pretty much, well, Sipper and Wolken are both weak to fire, but yeah, w like, four of our Pokemon could just destroy Blaine if they wanted to. So, that's good to know. I'm gonna, I think I'll try, I don't know if I want to just, like, focus just on, like, one Pokemon and go in and try to destroy it with that. I think I'm gonna try to keep the levels more balanced, so once Moon gets to 38, I'll probably start working on Beto and get him to 38, and we'll just try to keep a nice balanced level so there's no one Pokemon is over leveled and there's no one Pokemon is under leveled because right now I think everyone's between 38 and 39 so that's right I still have set on okay um 38 37 and 37 let's go to Kestro I, I was this is gonna take a while for me to get adjusted to playing on set because I've actually never played on set battle style before I've always played on shifts so uh, switch training is, well, this isn't switch training exactly, but it's going to be a little more difficult now having to remember that I can't just switch out before they send out their next Pokemon. So, yeah. Oh, you would have Intimidate. I wonder why this guy's Pokemon are level 34. The, the other guy had three Pokemon, they were all 37. This one is four and they're 34. I don't understand your poke logic, Mr. Scientist, dude. Okay, let's put Nikestro. Actually, we have like barely used Nikestro since we got him. He's got like almost no screen time at all, so it's about time he's doing something right. I think he'll I think he's gonna play a relatively big part 
in this battle. I don't know what I'm going to do against Arcanine. I'm actually thinking about it. I'm kind of paranoid about that because I'm pretty sure, like I said, his Arcanine is level 47. I think all his other Pokemon, like I'm pretty sure he's a Vulpix for some reason, are relatively low level except that Arcanine, man. But I don't think it can hit us very hard. I think it has some um, Overheat, probably Fire Blast. Actually, both of those will probably hit very, very hard. Actually, I don't, I don't think his Pokemon have Overheat, because I don't. I think he gives you Fire Blast. Or does he give you Overheat? I don't remember. Um, I really wish I remembered, but my brain's just having like this gigantic fart right now, so I, for the life of me, can't figure out what he gives you. I know I like, always Pokemon a Fire Blast. I know that much. I don't know what... I don't think it's Overheat. I'm pretty sure you get Overheat um, somewhere. I remember you get Overheat in a cave, I believe. Or it might be in a Rocket Warehouse. God dang it. I don't know, man. <laughs> My brain doesn't work this way. Don't make me try to remember this stuff. <sighs> I can't do it. My brain just does not work that way. Either way, like I was saying, I know he has like a Vulpix, I think he has a Ninetales, a Growlithe, and an Arcanine. They really made this game, like the gym leaders in this game are kind of pathetic. I mean, they could have gave him a Magmar, here's like, a, here would have been a good team for him, like a Magmar, Arcanine, Ninetales, and Rapidash. That could have been a good team, but no, instead they give him, I think, a Growlithe and a Vulpix. Just, why? Why, why would you do that to these wonderfully amazing gym waiters they're supposed to be challenging and tough and make you just like want to pull your hair out and wave your arms around in fury as you get angry the fact that how are they not evolved maybe could he not find two firestones somewhere can someone not just point him to sell it on and say here give your money to this lady and she'll give you stones it's that simple and we're at blaine so let's get out of here and we will go heal up and then we'll take on blaine so i am actually quite nervous about this i know i am going in under leveled extremely under leveled probably considering none of my Pokemon are even 40 yet and there's probably a lot of people that are like yelling at me not to do this and to go level up more and I want to point out there is no way am I trying to throw this game at all because I I may kind of seem like it by the fact that I'm going into this such under leveled but Trust me, I very much do want to win this Nuzlocke. A lot of people accuse me of throwing Spirit Gold which I thought was like, I had this one of the stupidest moments in my Pokemon life when for some reason I thought Crunch was super effective against Umbreon, and then I just kept continuing to derp and derp and derp after that, and I don't know why, but a lot of people said I threw Spirit Gold when I really did not. I was so sure I could win that, and I messed it up so badly, but I am not trying to throw Leaf Green at all, because just in case anybody's actually thinking that, I do want to win this very, very badly, so... Let's start off with Beto, because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he starts off with, I don't know, I'm just worried about his, Arc, his um, Arcanine and both his Growlithe having Intimidate, so, here we go, Blaine, let's do this. Ha ha! I'm Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym! I don't think he's hot, he's an old man, that's not hot. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready within turn seat. They incinerate all challengers, you better have a burn heal. Burn. Yeah. I think we'll see who really gets burned after this battle. <laughs> I actually don't have any burn heals. That probably would have been a good idea to get some. Oh, okay, level 42. Was not expecting that. I was right. He led off with his Growlithe. I'm not afraid of his Growlithe or his Vulpix. I think he has a Vulpix. I'm like 90% sure of it. So, wow, Beto. That's how you do it. Okay. Up next is Ponyta. Okay, it's a Ponyta. Not a Vulpix. So, I, I think it's third Pokemon is either a nine tail I think it's nine tails I'm relatively confident on that but okay so far Beto was supposed to make this challenging but yeah no why does he not have a Magmar some okay apparently I don't know Blaine's team at all I would have swore he had something in the Vulpix line uh fire blast okay let's hope we could take this it is neutral Woo! very nice Beto awesome okay is Beto just going to completely sweep Blaine right now? Okay, he's going to switch out, so let's take this opportunity to give someone else a shot. Let's go with... Um... Let's go with Nicastro. I'm feeling confident about him. He's been doing an amazing... No, actually, he hasn't been doing an amazing job. Like I said earlier, we barely used Nicastro like, this entire time. He's just kind of been sitting there, and we've been using him, like, just to fly around on him, so... It's about time he actually got some use, and... 
I'm... Alright, here we go. Arcanine. Nikestro versus Arcanine. We're going to have Intimidate, which is going to suck. He's nine levels higher. Holy crap. Um, I don't think Rock'sai could kill him after that. I don't think Beto could switch into Fire Blast. Jimmy. Assuming he goes for Fire Blast, Jimmy could... Just... Flash Fire powers up our Fire Moves, and he has Intimidate, so he won't have Flash Fire. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's do that. Yeah, Jimmy. Okay. Use Fire Blast. Use Fire Blast. Thank you. Flash Fire. Raise our fire moves. Now we can Flamethrower on him. How are we faster? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, that did a lot. He used Bite, which hopefully is doing less than half. Awesome. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll go for another fire type move. I want to think he has extreme speed, but I don't know. He Does he? Takedown. Okay, that's worse than extreme speed. That's, um, let's heal up. Let's heal up a lot. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Where am I? Do I not have hyper potions? Oh, crap. I don't have higher potions. Oh, crap. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need hyper potions. We got this. We got this. No crit. I don't even think a crit would kill us, actually. And I think one more flamethrower will do it. Come on, please kill it. Don't let him live. Don't let him live. Yes! Oh, we took down an Arcanine. Nine levels higher with our own Arcanine. That is why Flash Fire is better than Intimidate. Ha ha ha, use your brain! We got the Volcano Badge. Alright, seven down, one to go. But before we can take on that one more, we have a little side quest we have to do. That's the Sevi Islands. It is Fire Blast that he gives us. Okay, I think you get Overheat and Victory Road then. I, I really have no clue where you get it. So the bad thing is, before, like, the second we step out of this gym, Bill's going to pop up and he's going to be like, Hey buddy! I want to go with me on this random boat. I promise I won't molest you or anything. I just want to take you to some secret islands. And, you know, one, two, three. And we'll just go play with some gems and some stones. I just want to send you off some rocks to all these missions because I don't know how to do anything. Because despite the fact that I own a Pokemon PC system, I don't even seem to have any Pokemon. I just kind of sit here and turn my stuff into Clefairies all day because I'm just weird like that. Is that okay with you? Okay. Hey, it's Hardy. Look, it's me, Bill. Long time they'll see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen. Well, what other PC system am I going to use? I can't afford a Mac. Well, listen. Since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming? Alright, let's go. The bad news is, with the Sevi Islands, if a Pokemon dies, um, I don't think we could actually put him in the box until we finish the side quest that allows us to use the PC system. So we'll have to carry around a dead Pokemon with us, which kind of sucks. But either way, welcome to the Sevi Islands. A nice little resort with, apparently, just old people and... An orange Pokemon Center. That's That has always been like the highlight for me. An orange Pokemon Center. Hey there, CEO. Bill, I can't believe you came, man. Well, absolutely. How did they start coming? Oh, wait. No, that's Bill talking. Oh, wait a second. Alrighty, this is my buddy, CEO. He's one dedicated PC maniac. CEO, this is already a rising... Con okay, you know what? Why am I reading the dialogue? This is not a let's play. This is an egg lock. Which means we just run around, and we poop out eggs everywhere, and we hatch little Yoshis, and then we take over the world. In case you weren't aware, that is the very definition of egg lock. So, now we have to go do what is probably the most just incredibly lame quest in Pokemon. We have to go find Lostel. That's right, a little girl is lost, and her name is Lost L. I so many jokes I want to make right now but the good news is now that we are on Sevi Islands we can go catch some fancy new Pokemon and we will do that we are gonna first off we're gonna oh this kid this is Kindle Road I think we could also get one on one island if we go up to where the boat is but either way let's whip out our fancy old super rod because that is the best one to get Pokemon with come on give us something good maybe Anything high level, because this is going to become an egg anyways. A Pokemon's on the hook, and it's going to be a... <gasps> cookie, cookie. What? 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 <sighs> that is not high level at all. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. 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 Uh-uh. No way. I'm not doing it. I'm not freaking fishing anymore. The Super Rod's supposed to give you good Pokemon. Dang it. <sighs> no. <sighs> Stop there. You know what? No, no, I'm not even gonna complain. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm not even gonna complain. I'm, I'm you know, what? no, screw that. I'm gonna complain. That's not fair. I'm, I'm so upset right now. God dang it. 
Whatever, so this dude's like, oh, where Lost Doe, where have you gone? She always brings me lunch right now. Oh, oh, now that's just sexist right there. The girl's bringing you lunch. You can't make your own sandwich, dude. You can't just go stop playing with your rocks and put a piece of ham on a piece of bread, huh? Can't manage to figure that much out, huh? Gotta have the little girl do it, huh? No wonder why she got lost. She doesn't want to go make you go sandwich, boy. Huh? Hmm? 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 Yeah, huh? Yeah, what do you guys say about yourself, Pokemon? What do you guys say about yourself right now, huh? I swear. I swear, damn Pokemon, man. What is what is over here? This that grass always makes it look like there's something there, but 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 there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's so deceiving. Anyways, up there you can teach your starter Pokemon its special move: Frenzy Plant, Hydro Cannon, or uh, what is the fire one? I will remember. Don't worry. I believe it is called Blast Burn. So. I obviously, I think I, well, I have like 10 Bulbasaur's, but <laughs> none of them are high, have max happiness, so I, and they're not fully evolved. Oh, oh crap, wait, no, do I, uh, yeah, wait, no, I have Lapras on, so I think all these guys have is like Grimers and Coppings, and like the leader has a Weezing for some reason, so either way, oh, okay, so we'll just walk away. This is, not, it's not like this is our problem. Let us go over here and play with our Pokemon, so who needs some training? Who is the lowest? Sipper is the lowest. Okay, I guess I know who I'm using. Oh, what are you staring at? Don't you know, Blight? Okay, so I believe we actually have to take on four straight battles here without healing or doing anything, so... I it, I think it's four. It might be less than four, now that I think about it. It might just be, like, three. All I know is the final guy has a pretty high level wheezing, so... That's... Wow, okay. So, coughing just apparently doesn't care. That's cool. Let's maybe... Let's maybe miss our attack. Okay, can you use another attack? Maybe use, use something. You, you, no, I am killing you with this Heracross. This is happening. You will die at the hands of my bug, okay? You're gonna have to. No, 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 no. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Stop. Fair. I just wanted to kill you with my bug, and you won't let me. <laughs> my bug did nothing wrong. He just wanted to be your friend. You just couldn't let that happen. You were just jealous of him, weren't you? You were jealous of my bug. You were jealous of his wings, because you don't have wings, but you can levitate anyway, so why would you need wings anyways, huh? Answer me that question, you stupid little piece of gas, little bubble New York fun LA thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You can't fly. How are you even in the air? Because you are air. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That's why he floats, because he's literally just... Gas. I just realized... Well, I I don't think coughing is just gas. I mean, he's obviously some kind of physical form. I don't know what he is, but there's a physical form there. Obviously, because I was going to say, like, wow, there's a lot of freaking Pokemon that are based off of um, gas. I mean, Ghastly is literally just a ball of gas. And coughing and wheezing are based off of, like, smog. So... <laughs> Something about first generation was just like, wow, let's just make this all about pollution. And that's what they did, because... Really? First generation? That's like the pollution Jason, pollution -eration. I'm gonna coin that term right now. First gen is now known as the pollution pollutioneration. Because there's just a ton of pollution in that game. There's gas Pokemon ever, you have spore Pokemon letting off their sweet scents, oddishes everywhere, spinning around. Who knows what they're blowing up into the air. Just completely disturbing and wrong. You have... Actually, I can't think of anything else at the moment. But Drowsy sweating out his poison gas all over the place. Yeah. I, I'm catching on to you, Satoshi Tajiri. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 No! 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 Oh! Let's, let's heal up. Okay, that was that was scary. I still don't have any hyper potions. And there's like no Pokemon. Actually, I think there's a Pokemon Mart on the third island. So we should be able to one-shot him now. Let's hope. If not, I'm sure we can take one hit. Although with that screech, it makes me a little nervous. Because poison is... Okay, poison is um, physical. So our lowered physical defense is not a good thing. Wow, I can't believe Psychic's a three-hit KO. And, oh, God, no, not minimize. Okay. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, and it's dead. Good job.
Good job, Beto. We just Betoed that cum. I mean that muck. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to say that. Of course I did. Anyways, so we now defeated the big biker gang of meanie poos. And they're gone now. Huff! Go right ahead, hanging around these these hayseeds. And now we can heal up before Heracross dies. That seems like a fantastic idea. Now, I'm pretty sure we will have more success with the grass here. Because the grass Pokemon I know are like in their 30s to 40s. And let's get some Hyper Potions before I forget. Because we're going to have a lot of trouble if we don't. Actually, how much money do we have? Oh, we're so close. We could theoretically just save up and get Thunderbolt for Beto. Because, but... Um, I don't know. I'll just put on, well, I'll have to put on the amulet coin next time I do grinding because that'll really help. So let's get some hyper potions. We probably only need like, I don't know, 20. We don't need that many. So, and we can always find a bunch of things to sell when it comes time to go get $80,000. All right. So on Bond Bridge, we can catch a Pokemon and hopefully it's something exciting. I don't want to take on those little girls. I hate double battles. It's a level 31 bell sprout. Um... Not a horrible level, considering I'm only like six levels above it, so I can't be that... Wow, that took that... I didn't realize how much HP Bellsprout had. Well, I guess actually it's not that much, considering it's... Really? Why is... Why is Sipper always poison? Out of everybody, why is it always Sipper? He didn't do anything. Alright, where are my Pokeballs? Let's... Well, we got one Pokeball. Can we catch this thing in just one Pokeball? Maybe? Maybe? One? Two? three and caught yay awesome so that will be our next hatch will be a level 31 pokemon hopefully it's something good i don't i really want that abra i still have high hopes for being able to find this abra i think it'll just be really oh that's right you're still poisoned i don't know why an abra with the elemental punches oh god that sounds so amazing i want it extremely badly i want this abra I, although I already have a psychic type on my team, so I'm not really sure how I would fit him onto the team. But all I know is I want him here. I want. Oh, oh, Pidgey, you're a flying type. Pidgey, you're. Okay, you're now a dead flying type. Never mind. I was like, oh my god, no, don't use Gust. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this lady here has like a Bulbasaur and two Ivysaurs. I might be wrong, but if that is the case, let's go with um, Jimmy. Jimmy could use it. Jimmy hasn't done much. I think Jimmy took on the other Arcanine, so he's done a lot this episode. He could use a nice break. And, oh, okay. I can't believe I was actually right. I wasn't expecting her to actually have the Pokemon that I thought she would. So, happy face. I'm never right about this stuff, to be honest. I, like, I can always try to predict what someone's gonna have. Like, look at, look at me trying to predict Blaine's team. I had half his team wrong. I knew he had an Arcanine, because that's like his signature Pokemon. I actually had to level the Arcanine right, which surprised me. I didn't expect to, but I ha and I had his Growlithe right, but I had his other two Pokemon completely wrong. I th I would have swore he had Nine Tails. Why doesn't he have a Nine Tails? Why does he have a stupid Ponyta? Seriously, Pokemon, wh why? Why does he have a Ponyta? I I need to know this. This is very important. Okay, so in Berry Forest we can catch yet another Pokemon. We could try to hope go and get the Hypno, but I think it's only level 35, so. It's not the best catch. Instead, we can get a level 37 Pidgeotto. That will be perfect for our team. So, let's go with Bite. Hope it doesn't do... Oh. Okay, let's just start throwing the Great Balls. I'm a little paranoid about attacking you. Actually, I, I think if I use Bite again, it will kill it. So... Whoa. Oh. I really kind of want to switch into Heracross and use some size... No! 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 Come back! Come back! Come back! No! <laughs> I wanted to go to Pokemon! No! Pidgeotto! Ah. No! Ah. Really? 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 Okay. Well, I messed up as always. I'm extremely disappointed in myself. I... Man... That's, I, I, misclicks are the worst thing. I, I remember misclicking Pokefloop in Fire Red Omega, and that caused the death of Terror. I think his name was Terror. My Tentacruel, he died because I meant to use a Hyper Potion. I believe it was a Hyper Potion, and I ended up clicking on Pokefloop instead, so, yeah. Either way, here's Lostel, the Lost Girl, 
Still just making me want to facepalm just even reading that name. And for some reason, here is Pedo Hypno. Just, just, uh, seriously, what is, what is he even doing here? <laughs> I really want an explanation of what this Hypno was doing to Wastel. Because I don't think they ever explain it. He's just here in the middle of some dark woods kidnapping little girls, playing with his yo-yo. If you get well, if you catch my drift, it's very weird. I actually don't remember what Iapa Berries does. I want to think Iapa Berries, um, they do something when you get low on HP, but they make you confused. I don't know. I'm curious. What does Iapa Berries do? I, I want to know now. I don't think I'll ever use it because I don't think I've ever used the Iapa Berry. It restores HP, but may cause confusion. Okay, so. Yeah, I was right. Well, I thought it was like guaranteed confusion, but it's only possible confusion. So, all right, we got the meteorite and, oh, we also got a moonstone. Okay, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to use that for. I think I already have like two moonstones, so not the most useful items. Anyways, let's get back to one island and give Bill his stupid little freaking meteorite thing so he could leave us alone. Wait, what kept you so long? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to go find the stupid little girl? Ah. Shut up, Bill. No, no, there's almost nothing left for me to do. See, well, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. I'll be seeing you again. Hardy, I'm really sorry that we went off alone today. I promise I'll show you around the three islands sometime. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. No. Okay, I want to go. Never mind. Anyways, we are back on Vermilion or Cinnabar, or whatever. And I guess next time we will... Probably be, I don't know, we'll maybe go to the Seven Islands some more and then take on Giovanni because I think Giovanni's highest Pokemon is level 50 right Horn. For some reason, it's a right Horn and not a right on. Whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. How about maybe, you know what? I don't care. You guys can have however many likes you want. I'm not going to challenge you guys today. Until next time, I'm Marty Tech Yo Yo.